Dum daran daran dan dan Hiya people, it's Rally Vlogs. Anyway, um <laughs> uh today I have a question for everybody in YouTube land. Um I want to know, have you ever been asked the famous question, I know I have, but have you ever have you ever been asked the question, where were you when? Where were you when certain events, landmark events even, in history happened? Except for example, where were you when um, Michael Jackson died? Where were you when uh, the Titanic sank? Um... Where were you um, when President Lincoln was assassinated? You know, things like that. Um, those kind of questions have always been floating around for years, and everyone always seems to remember where they were the moment things occur. Um, so my question to you is, have you ever been asked that? And my second question, that was my first, now this one's my second. My second question to you is, do you remember where you were and you can feel free to comment down below if you like. Um, where were you when 9-11 happened? Um, I know, for example, I, I, I'll go ahead and tell you what, where I was. Ironically, my story is kind of ironic. I was actually starting, it, 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 it was a normal day, going to school, 7th grade. Um, and um, I was actually starting current events class current events class had just begun for me when all of that in New York was going on um, I didn't hear about what had happened until a couple hours later um, our principal over at my school uh, came on over the um, um, loudspeaker or, or however you call it um, and he told all of us of what's happening uh, after school that day. I went home, found out what was really going on and everything like that. And, but to the point of my story here is I was in current events class. So I'm interested in knowing where other people were when that happened. Um, Another thing I want to bring up, and this is kind of what actually started me on to wanting to do this vlog. Um, is I got to thinking, I was like, wow, 16 years, 16 years ago this happened, 16 years that life changed in an instant, um, everybody's life's changed, let's just put it bluntly like that, um, some for the good, some for the better. I'm not going to get into the whole personal side of things. Um, my whole personal side of things, how others see things, hate, love, anything like that. That, that will be for a different vlog. Um, plus, I've already kind of touched then on that in my previous vlogs anyway. But um, one thing I do want to mention is that just... This, an, an event like this just goes to show how quickly life can change in an instant. Um, you may think that um, you have time on this earth. You may think that you have time. You may think you have time to hug a person. You may think you have time to tell your loved ones that you love them. You may think you have time to wash your laundry. You may think you have time to um, tell someone how you feel about them. You may think you have time to um, do all of this stuff in the world. You know? You may think you have all this time. You know? But you really don't. Um... Now, I'm not saying going around, going around, going around 240 like a jackrabbit or anything like that to um, get everything all done in one day. No, I'm not saying that. But when you have the opportunity to do something, 
always do it. Do everything you need to do. Don't just always say, oh, I'll get to it later, or oh, I'll tell someone I love them later, or anything like that. Always do it, you know? Take, for example, um, like with 9-11, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure some of those um, poor souls that passed um, into another plane, and a heavenly plane and everything, um, I'm pretty sure some of them were thinking, oh, I wish I had the chance to tell my loved ones I love them. I wish I had the chance to do this. I wish I had the chance to do that. And you know, those of us that are survivors, you know, and actually knew people who had passed, had family or anything that had passed in the World Trade Center, um, I wish some of us, or I, I bet some of us rather, I bet, sorry, I bet some of us were thinking, oh, I wish I could have told that my loved one how much I loved them. I wish I could have given them a hug. Or if you were fighting with one of the people who, who perished, at the World Trade Center. You know, I wish I had a chance, I, 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 I bet someone said, I wish you had a, or, or I wish I had the chance to say I'm sorry. You know, basically what I, I know I'm stammering on here, I'm sorry, but this is a very sensitive subject for all of us, I bet. Um, but bottom line, something like this just proves how life can change in an instant. We cannot procrastinate with anything. Always tell someone how you feel about them. Don't be afraid to go out there and get stuff done. You never know when a life is going to, your life is going to change in an instant, you know, so it's better to leave, I think, say for example, if a big catastrophe were to ever happen again, I think it's best to leave without having unfinished business to take care of, you know, um, I know I'm kind of stammering on, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, um, and if you have any uh, comments or anything you'd like to leave down below, feel free. Um, I hope you all have a good day. My heart goes out to er all the um, people that are being affected by Hurricane Irma, Katia, Jose, everything that happened in Texas about a week ago. My heart goes out to everybody. I hope everyone is doing okay over there. Um, I hope you all ha have a good day and, um, have, uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.